close my eyes and you're there with me. Secret, secret of there. What's up guys, fellow ant lovers out there? Uh, it's me again, your boy Mikey Bustos, um, aka Ants Canada. Here in Toronto, it's currently 4 a.m. in the morning and well I'm a night owl. What can I say? Take a look at these ants. They're uh, a family of Formica fusca ants. They're really special and if you read the info section you'll know why. So I wanted to take the time to tell the great story of this wonderful Formica fusca family that I own. I had several Formica fusca queens. I collected them this summer. Um, so, let's name them for our purposes. Queen A, B, that's one pair, and C, D. Now, both pairs started having babies. And um, at the time I was experimenting with pumice nests, which is um, uh, basically a piece of lava rock used to exfoliate hands and feet. I've uploaded videos in the past of me implementing pumice nests into the housing of my ants. So A Queen A and B were living in a pumice nest. And C and D were living in a test tube. Again, both continued to lay eggs and raise the young together harmoniously. Everything was great. I expected, you know, everything to be fine. As for the Queen's C and D their family was doing so well that I decided to attach the family of C and D to a tube which led into a small outworld. The workers began feeding. I would feed them apples, you know, uh, different fruits, I'd feed them honey, and all was going fine. Until the very last worker he closed when that happened Queen C and D began fighting and I noticed this the exact day that the last worker he closed I could not believe it um, so I panicked um, and I watched Queen C and D start duking it out fighting completely fighting um, and it was weird to even see some of the workers helping the dominant queen who seemed to be winning. I eventually caught one worker dragging the losing queen towards the exit of the um, test tube. So, uh, in a panic, I placed the test tube of Queen C and D into the outworld and I kind of opened the test tube so that in case the losing queen had nowhere to go, she could just escape. The next morning, I found the losing queen in the tube part that used to connect to the test tube. Um, so, essentially, they had kicked her out, you know. Um, I was happy that she was alive, but was a little sad that she was now alone, she had no workers, um, and that she had obviously suffered the trauma of being kicked out by some of her own kids and her former co-queen. Um, as for queens A and B, they too began uh, raising young together. Looking in my eyes, it's my true partner in crime who they don't know runs his own show. Um, and when the final uh, worker he closed, they began fighting. Um, and unfortunately, I noticed this a little late, and uh, one queen was already dead. Which, uh, you know, really sucked. It was really heartbreaking. So what I did was I tore open the pumice nest, and I transferred the surviving queen and her workers into a test tube. Very, very sad, very tragic. Um, and based on these two situations, I guess I had learned that former Kafuska will raise their young up until they have their first workers. But after that, whew, it's a duel. So now I have queens 
A, uh, Queen B died. That's designated that way. Um, and I have Queen C with her young and Queen D just by herself. Turns out, the next day, Queen A dies. <laughs> Could not believe it. Of five workers that belong to Queen A and B, but Queen A and B are dead. So they're now queenless. They're aside in a test tube. The other test tube with Queen's C and her five kids all doing okay. So Mama Outcast is still in this tube. She had just been kicked out by her own family and she's lonesome. But to my surprise, get this, you won't believe it. She laid an egg the next day after being kicked out. She didn't waste any time. She just, there was a little egg in her mouth. And so I transferred uh, Mama Outcast into her own test tube. So basically the story is now that I have three sets of Formica Fusca ants in, th in three test tubes and one is a bunch of workers that had just lost both their queens and so they're now queenless and I had one queen who had lost all her workers and had just one egg. I guess you can guess what I did. I decided to mix Mama Outcast with the five queenless workers. So essentially I was inducing an adoption. Now there were three possibilities. One, the workers were going to completely destroy the queen um, or the queen was going to completely destroy the workers or three, which was the ideal situation, they were going to get along. This was a set of, we're talking about five ants that already, you know, had had parents with a specific scent, hormone, you know, pheromonal scent and all of that, so it kind of really was a risky thing to do, but I did it. Um, and how I did it was I placed the five workers into the freezer for about two or three minutes, let them slow down a little bit, calm down, because Formica Fusca are super, super fast. And essentially, I placed the tube of the queen with the tube of the five kind of chilled out Formica Fusca ants and watch to see what happened. And to my surprise, it worked. The workers just moved right in to uh, Mama Outcast's tube and you know at first Mama Outcast was really, really, really kind of shocked and she was like, ah, where are these ants coming from? So, um, I learned that day that it is possible to introduce adult workers with a queen. This new family, composed of the non-biological mother and the foster kids, were able to establish themselves. It was a wonderful story. They got so comfortable and eventually Mama Outcast, who was an outcast no more, went on to lay her own eggs which the foster kids helped raise to adulthood and eventually three new workers who were biologically related to the queen were able to emerge successfully which resulted in a wonderful wonderful miraculous mix of an ant family composed of a queen her three biological kids and some foster kids it was an excellent thing to truly witness and be a part of and I'm so so glad that I was able to keep the workers who had been abandoned and the queen who also had been abandoned. So it really was an exceptional story you know and uh, I thought I'd share it with all of you guys because uh, it's amazing how these ants um, are so adaptive and, and really versatile which explains why they're doing so well, you know, in the evolutionary picture. Um, and, uh, and, and it's great. It's exactly why people like us are fascinated by these insects. So, hope you enjoyed my story. 
uh, about m one of my former Kafaska ants and uh, be sure to subscribe to my videos um, I'll be waking up all my ants including the Formica Fusca families um, probably sometime around February or March uh, thanks again thank you for watching and take care of those ants see ya Every time my heart beats high, no deep inside